Hey, face caretaker. I have been live all morning and I am excited to just do my makeup with you. So I have done my skincare. I have my moisturizer, my oil mattifier, my primer, and I am ready to go. So I like to start with a little bit of CC's cream. And while um, my favorite tools are um, my Mary Kay brushes, my easiest tools are really my fingers. I find them to be quite effective. If you're going to use your fingers to do your makeup, make sure you wash your hands first. So I like to use some CC cream really as a base. And then I use my 3D matte foundation. So I really like um, that a uh, tiny, tiny dab will do ya. And I really only focus on the center of my face and I, and I blend out. I like how this matches my skin tone absolutely beautifully. I like to get it up underneath my eyes and I always put a little bit on my actual lids. And do you see how that just evened me right out? I'm, I'm like, this is the easiest makeup I have ever worked with. <laughs> so new for spring, um, spring is telling me that we need to go a little bit bold. And I am in love. I am in love with this darling pink blush. So I'm going to start there. And I just take my big fluffy brush. And the rule is two fingers away from your nose two fingers away from your uh, hairline and you want to brush down. The reason being you want everything to lay flat on your face, but I also want to look alive, right? So that is where I'm at. Now, and not for nothing, that is an instant, that is instant look alive, right? So I might take some here and here and just, you know, use the excess. Um, other places on my face. So the next thing, I'm all about highlighter. So even though this isn't the 90s anymore, we're still using a three-point highlight system, right? So like up underneath the brow bone, inner corner of the eyes, and tops of the cheeks, right? So that's going to really draw the light to the center of your face, and that will be a great place for you to, um, to have light on your face. So I'm going to use glazed, which is a really beautiful highlight. And what I do is I really, I just pinch this as if I'm going to do um, contour and I tap a little off and I just go right on the tops of my cheeks, down the center of my nose and right here, Cupid's bow and my chin and maybe the center of my forehead. And I'm just looking to highlight a little bit. Okay. So that is where I'm at. I really, really love my reusable Mary Kay palettes. So I, I don't know about you, but this is as environmentally friendly as you can get because when you hit pan on one of these, it's metal, it can be recycled, and it's magnetic so that you can customize. And bonus, when you forget what color you ordered from your Mary Kay lady, it's stamped on the bottom so you'll know. Um, so now I'm going to work on my eyes. So I'm going to use an all-over brush. Um, my favorite thing about Mary Kay brushes is that it tells you exactly what it is on the bottom of the brush. So I'm going to just pick up some something matte and something a little light. I'm looking for something that's pretty close to my natural skin tone. So I'm going to go with this one up top, which is called Biscotti. And you see how I could just lift it out of there because I forgot what it was called in this moment. <laughs> so I'm going to pull some of that and I'm going to just work on that as my base, okay? Because what I do next, you're going to be like, what? So you, there's two ways to do this. You can start. I often like to start with a little concealer or a little something uh, on the bottom, right? Um, liquid, liquid um, eyeshadow is all the rage right now. So here's what I do. I take a little bit of this and I put it on the back of my hand. And then I use my finger, or you can use a cream brush, which I happen to have here. Whoa, let me just toss it. I'll be right back. <laughs> here. So it says even on it, cream color. So I'm gonna pick up what I just put here, and I have a mirror here, so I'm not looking right in my camera. And I am going to put this right on top of my base. I like that that creates some light. Um, I don't 
like to take just this. You could, you could absolutely take this and go all over your lid, but I find it's a little bit too much for me. But if you do that, then you can blend it out with a finger or you can blend it out with a brush and see, see how I have a, just maybe a little too much product down there. And I am just going to blend that out all over my movable lid and I'm going to bring it up. So if you have a hooded eye, you're going to want to bring this up a little higher than you normally would. Do you see how that blended out so beautifully? I just love this. I love the color. And so I'm just going to pick up what I had on the back of my hand and I'm going to blend the other side. I need a little more product to even it out. But this is just so, so beautiful. How's that? That's a good shot to look at the back of my head on, on my live for my YouTube video. And so if you make a mistake, just, just blend her out. It's okay. This is the most forgiving possible product. Look at that. Wow, that just really brightened me right up. I just love it. So the next thing I want to do is use a mid-tone. So I could stop right there and call it a day. I'm going to come in with my hazelnut. So I'm going to take my hazelnut and I'm going to go into my crease just like that. I'm going to come about mm, three quarters of the way toward the inside of my eye. And this is just going to give me a little bit of contour. What do you think? Um, I am a big fan of a mid-tone. Oftentimes you will see like these super sparkly looks and they don't quite fit together. And the reason is, is that they have bailed on their mid-tone. And this will just create a beautiful transition from light to dark. What do you think? Isn't that beautiful? So the next thing is that I have prepped my lips with my satin lips. And that is great, except my lipstick is not going to want to stick to that. So anytime you have done the right thing and exfoliated and moisturized your lips, take any of your lip balm off before you, you do your lips. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to line it. This was a limited edition nude, but Mary Kay makes some seriously beautiful liners. And anytime something comes out limited edition and you think you want to add it, please add it because I can't get you anymore. So I start with an X. See that? And then I just line. And then I fill it in. So as my lipstick wears off, I have, I've still got some color and I won't have any bleeding. And <laughs> there's more. <laughs> it creates a base for something to stick to. So really bold li lipsticks are really in for spring right now. And this is my first of the new Supreme Hydrating Lipstick. Thank you. When you are a Mary Kay lady, lady there are perks. And um, my mentor sent one of these to me as a thank you for being on her team. But look at how gorgeous this is. Do you see this color? I love it. This is called, let me read it festive pink. So I am going to use this for the first time. You can use a brush or you can put it on the traditional way, which is how I'm going to do it today. Oh, that is so smooth. Oh, I love this color on me. Okay, so here's the deal. This is well outside my comfort zone, okay? I would not normally wear such a bright lipstick, but I am loving this color. Look at that. So my my point is, is that you can, it, it just washes off. So give it a whirl. Try something new. Spring is all about new things. So that feels amazing. And I am all about shine right now. So you could leave it right there or you can top it off. And I'm going to use Pink Fusion today. So here we go. <laughs> I'm going to use this right on top of that beautiful lipstick. We shall see how we like it. Oh, haha. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, I'm a fan. <laughs> there is a lot of things that are disguised really as a lip gloss. And some of that is personal growth. Some of that is getting out of your comfort zone. Some of that is entrepreneur, um, entrepreneurialship. There are a lot of things that are really more than just a lipstick. So I'm honored that you're here. Thank you. What do you guys think about this? I am going to add 
some mascara. I am the biggest fan of this Lash Love Fanorama. It's the same formula as Lash Love, but it is all about this brush. So check out this brush. Can you guys see that? See how spiky it is? This is going to give you some lengthened, beautiful, separated lashes. So I just come in and I swoop. I come in and I swoop. I think mascara really puts the finishing touches on your lashes. You know, I like falsies, but I don't have a whole lot of practice at them. My mom, oh, my mom is really good at lashes. And I remember being a little girl watching her put her lashes on to go to work because she was a flight attendant. And I can get a pretty good looking lash with this mascara. So there's my look for the day. I am going to finish this off with a little bit of setting powder. This is new. This is called the Silky Setting Powder, and it's actually made from plants. It is not even, um, it is not even, it replaced our mineral powder, and it is beautiful. So I take a great big fluffy brush. So here's your hot tip of the day. If you are dry and you really just want to set everything, then you just, you know, add a little, a little pot. Um, you know, you sweep it on like normal. If you need to set it because you're oily, press and roll, okay? So that will mat out all of the things on your face. So you could sweep and set or you can press and roll and set. And this is my look for the day. I feel really put together. Um, I need um, something to do with my hair, but a headband is not it. And what do you guys think? I think that I am ready for my day. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, let me know if you found any of this helpful. Let me know about your new um, lipstick or what you are trying new for spring. Um, if you need a little help choosing some colors for you, I'd be honored to help. And I appreciate you spending your morning with me.